Hello, thanks to join me on this conference. I will present you today how to build an embedded Debian or Ubuntu system with Elb. Um, it's my first presentation on such a conference, so please excuse me if I hesitate a bit or or anything else. I will try to do my best. So let's get over it. Um, so I'm Cory Masson. I'm an embedded Linux engineer at Bootlin since uh, the beginning of this year, just uh, the beginning of COVID. <laughs> Um, I work on different projects with different uh, embedded build system. Um, so Bootlin is a, an open source contributor for lots of different open source projects and uh, I contributed um, to support Ubuntu in Elbe. So um, I work on two projects uh, with Elbow, so in uh, an ARM 32 EMX6 and a Rockship uh, RK 3399 platform. Uh, I'm living in Toulouse and I'm in the office uh, of uh, Colomid of Butlin. So, um, what's the con what is the content of this presentation? So, it's first uh, I will first present you the different available option on how to build a uh, numbered system. Uh, then I will uh, make an overview of Elb. Then so. Then I uh, just explain how to build a simple Debian or Ubuntu image with uh, Elbe and how to customize um, the image to fit uh, what uh, you want. Um, so what are the different Possibilities to build a uh, number to be the uh, distribution for a numbered uh, board. Um, so the first optional and uh, the hardest way to do it is to build everything manually. So the advantage are it's full flexible and uh, you now learn a lot about. Uh, how to make uh, destroy the content, the the aspect of it, uh, what is a, a tool chain, how it's made, etc. Uh, the cons are it's hard, um, so you need to understand a lot of things before to make a, a good uh, distribution. Uh, it's not really rapid, reproducible, reproducible, um, and it's uh, there is no compatibility between version, etc. Um, the second uh, option is um, use binary distribution, so like exists uh, like Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora which already exists. Um, so it's easy to create and extend. There is already a large set of package uh, and uh, it's the security updates for this package are um, made quite often. So it's really robust and it's good for uh, non embedded experts because it's like um, a desktop mm, so the cons are it's hard to customize and to optimize for uh, an embedded board 
indeed an embedded board may not have the the power and the of uh, like a, a desktop like a computer um, so you some binary distribution will not work well on such a, a small uh, embedded board um, it's uh, often a large uh, system um, it have a lot of dependency and it's not available for uh, all the different art architecture architecture and uh, so the most um, common option for embedded uh, embedded board is the, to use a build system like buildroot, yocto, ptxdx, etc. The interest of it is its full flexibility. You can't configure it as you want, and uh, some of them are maybe more complicated than other, but uh, it's really full flexible uh, it's f uh, also f full reproducible reproducible you can easily have an, uh, a tool chain uh, it use cross compilation and it's, there is a lot of uh, features and the cons is that it's not that it has not uh, as uh, it 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 have not regular security updates like uh, in the distribution like Debian, and uh, it takes time to build your distribution. So we will focus on how to build a Debian build system. It's our point, our point today. So there is several projects that have been created to automate uh, to automate the process. Of course, um, first you, you may try to use handmade scripts, but it's hard and uh, it's not common for every project and everybody have its own scripts. So it's not really maintainable. Um, the second is elbow, so it's, it's the focus of this call today. Uh, it's um, a new build system, so it have his first release in 2015. It's mostly a Python code that uses a generic Debian tool like Debootstrap, Schrot, and others. First, it only supports Debian, but now it uh, supports Ubuntu. I contributed to add this support. So, you may try to build for other distribution, but you might encounter uh, some issue, maybe, or maybe it will work well. Um, another tool is DebOS. Um, it, uh, it's also interesting because you can create an image and uh, a customized image, a, ma a customizable image. Uh, but the so the main advent advantage, as I said, it's to build your own package from source. Um, you can manage easily the license, use several architecture and uh, tune your rootfs. So uh, it's easily customizable. Um, so let's focus on uh, the Elba process. 
help you um, when you first uh, run it. Um, it will create an init VM that's a virtual machine for uh, building a rootfs inside of it. So uh, it's like this square. Um, so it's a Debian init VM. Uh, in so all the work will happen in uh, in this init VM. When then you want to create uh, an image for your project or on your board, you you will. Um, create a project in this when you will submit um, an XML file uh, to Elbe and Elbe will create uh, a project in his in its uh, in itVM. In this uh, project it will uh, create a, sh a different shroot for a different um, process. So the main is uh, for the sysroot, uh, which will be installed in the in the board. So the these st steps are uh, to use the bootstrap, then um, update the mirror of the of the shroot. Uh, then uh, install the desired packages, tune the rootfs in like file tuning, and then all the when all the shroot is under and the it is customized uh, as you want. It will generate um, an image or a tar or a nubi image as you describe it in the XML, and it will uh, output in uh, a build uh, repository uh, the the image con corresponding to 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 the funny final image. So, to as I as I said, um, the first use of Elbe is to create the init VM. So the first command you will made is Elbe init VM create. You will do this command only once because. Um, after the init VM is uh, has been created, uh, you just have to use it. So if you reboot your computer, you just need to start the init VM. So start the Debian virtual machine. Um, in Elbe, the all the configuration the description of your image is made uh, is described in a XML file so after you create the init VM you can submit uh, whatever XML file you want to um, cre create uh, an image or distribution for a uh, for the board. So the first example is uh, to um, create an, um, an image for the Bigelbone Black. Uh, it takes about 50 minutes on my computer and uh, another is to uh, make an Ubuntu uh, image, distribution image. All uh, these two are um, in the Elbe source, in the example uh, repository uh, directory sorry um, the arm ubuntu example do not have bootloader or kernel it's only uh, the rootfs 
So when you after you run this command, it will build, and it, you will have a build a result directory, uh, which will have the the timestamp in its name. The different um, file in uh, this directory are um, bin cdrm and source cdrm iso which are uh, a mirror of all the package used for m to create your uh, distribution your image so that uh, later you you can um, reuse um, this uh, package. Um, there is also the image.gz which is um, the final image that uh, you want to use and maybe that you want to flash on your board. There is several license uh, file to to add the license description of all your packages uh, for the main route, for the sysroot host, target, etc. Um, you have the source XML file which describe all the packages and um, their versions. Um, this uh, LB build directory has, has been made with uh, build as decaption, so we have also this two uh, file. So one is the an extraction of the sysroot, and the other is a script, a yocto like script to uh, install uh, where you want. Um, uh, a tool chain. The tool chain made uh, with the uh, suite, uh, suite, the image uh, described in the described in the XML file. And so I said the description of your image is. Uh, use XML file. Um, so now we will uh, dive into this. Uh, um, how to say it? Um, we we will just uh, explain how to what's the content of the of this XML. So first, uh, there is a global node uh, which which embrace um, the whole XML file. So this is the first of a, a big header, so let it like uh, uh, it is in the example. And then you have the project node. This node uh, will describe the name of the um, project, the description and other information uh, of this project, so also the architecture, uh, the mirror to use, so where to build to download uh, your package, and uh, which suit to use, and then um, so the interesting node is the target node. It's really where you will. Uh, customize and describe the content of your image of your distribution so it have for example the password the console option um, the image node so how to how will be generate your image and uh, which file system to use and uh, also 
so all the tightening the tune of your router or you of your root FS will be in these nodes and then the list of you your package that you will, that you want to install so I first have presented you the submit command the submit it's good when you want to uh, build, build an image from scratch so you just have to submit the XML file and Elbe will do all the builds. So you just have to wait until it's end and you will have your uh, result di um, directory. But when you want to work on this uh, on your distribution, you may want to not build all each times. So the 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 good, the good manner is to use Elbe control command. Uh, because it will not uh, build everything, it uh, just uh, will update um, uh, the schrot uh, of the project and uh, other things. So to use this uh, control uh, command, uh, let's see an example. So first, you create a project. Um, this command just to uh, create the directory, the empty directory for your project. So it will send uh, in the in in So it will send. Uh, it will return the. Um, location of the project directory in the in VM. Then you s um, configure so this project with the right uh, XML file uh, where project uh, corresponds to the uh, path of uh, the project. And then you can build it. To build it, you have to first uh, use the build command, control build command, and then control wait basic command. When so, it's the first build of your project. Then you may tweak the XML and just rebuild again. And this will not rebuild all, it just just update uh, the schrut with uh, new packages. You can also reset your project if you if you if you add something you, you do not want, there is a control reset and then a rebuild again. Uh, at least, um, because when you use control, it will not create a output a result directory as uh, the submit command. So you need to export the file you want from the from the project directory in the init VM. For that, just uh, list the file that can be exported with get files and then export it with get file without the s so now we want to customize our project or distribution um, so Elbe allows to tune uh, your router FS uh, with different way. So you can you can do an overlay. So just uh, copy the contents of a directory. Uh, direct in the in the schrut 
Uh, of course, you can uh, add uh, as Debian package as you want. You can add uh, in the um, XML file different um, uh, command to tweak uh, the file system. So we'll see that later. And uh, you can, most importantly, build your own package and add it to the XML file. So first, how oh, to tune your rootfs um, inside the XML file. So it will be in the file tuning node. For I just took um, the example from the um, big open black uh, uh, file. So, for example, you can first just uh, copy file, move file inside the, the schroot. There is um, lots of um, commands that have already been implemented uh, like that. And you can uh, find it uh, in this URL. You can also just uh, do shell command. For example, uh, this will just set the uboot environment. So it creates uh, a UR of context that uh, uboot will use. So as I, as I said, uh, you can also, uh, there is a different um, command. So there is also rm command to remove files or directory to clean uh, your distribution before the, the delivery, before the output delivery. And um, there is also a way to to tell Elbow to add a special file to the list of files that uh, you may want to uh, export. So for example, uh, you the MLO is in the uh, the MLO of Uboot is in the rootfs and you want uh, have this file to uh, flash it uh, maybe in the another memory than uh, your uh, memory of um, your distribution so you may want to have the MLO alongside uh, your image so to do it you have to use the artifact node um, yes you have to so, for example, this uh, two command would add uh, MLO to uh, the list of, uh, of files that you can download on the device tree also. So, you, you, so after you can use the get file, the control get file command to uh, get uh, those files. Uh, now I will present to how to add an overlay to the image. Um, so an overlay is uh, a content of a directory that will be copy over the root file system. Of course, at the end of it, of the of the build process. So, for example, if you want to have an SSH config and you want to copy it uh, in your image. So just uh, create <coughs> the overlay directory with uh, the location of the SSH config. Of course, copy it. And then uh, load the overlay directory in the XML file. Uh, to do it, you have to use the SHG archive command so it will uh, load 
all the uh, content of the overlay directory in the project XML file in a uh, encoded uh, style. So uh, it's a uh, base 64 encoded. Um, and uh, then you will see in the project XML a node archive with the content uh, of uh, the overlay directory. Um, an, easy, an easy trick is to add, uh, to add uh, a Debian package. So the list of, uh, as I said, the list of uh, all the packages of the image uh, are in the package list uh, node. So you just have to add like this, uh, uh, like OpenSSH server to the package list, uh, package list node li like this. Um, now we will uh, look how to build your own package with Arbor. So um, it is the important step if you want to to do um, a Debian for your own. Uh, board so you will need to add a, a bootloader on the kernel specify uh, to this board um, so you have to add uh, one of these uh, you have to create one of this package and uh, add it to help you can also uh, use whatever package you want for example in my in one of my project uh, I need to rebuild Qt. Um, so uh, it take a bit of time, but uh, I managed to do it. To do it. So um, the different steps to do it is uh, first to Debianize the um, the source code of uh, the package you want to make. Um, then um, to add uh, so this Debianized package to the image, and then to build uh, the package with Elbow. So first, how to Debianize your source of your package. Um, for some well-known package on the well used package so like Ubuntu Bearbox or Linux uh, Elbe have already script that uh, automatize um, this UI display um, in this UI display you can uh, uh, configure so the version the name and other uh, option of uh, of the packages. So, for example, uh, in the, the Linux, you for Linux you you can uh, choose the, the dev config, the architecture, the release, etc. Um, after you complete all this uh, configuration. Um, Elbe will create the uh, Debian repository inside the um, package, so here Linux. So the, for example, for Linux, it will create all of those uh, files. Uh, as I said, uh, for Linux, it's already uh, scripted. So uh, normally, uh, if you just uh, configure this UI correctly, uh, you will have a usable uh, Debian directory. Then, when you have an usable Debian directory, so your package is, is Debianized, you can uh, build the build your package. 
just to forget so to so uh, we will see uh, how to build it later um, for other packages like for other packages uh, other than uh, Linux and uh, you boot or their box you have to debianize the package uh, manually so for that uh, you have to create uh, you have to create um, four uh, requis requisite uh, files so changelog control source and copyright uh, it's uh, required to uh, to be nice properly your package. Uh, for that, uh, you can see uh, uh, this uh, URL, uh, and it ex it will explain uh, how to do it. But uh, it's easier to use or inspire inspire to from a, an already Debianized package because uh, Debian as a package from scratch uh, is not so easy. So, um, how to build your package? Uh, once it is Debianized, you uh, may want to build it. Uh, to build it, um, you have to use Elbe pbuilder command. No, pbuilder create a shroot in the in VM and uh, all the package that uh, will be uh, built will be uh, built inside this shroot. So you use the command pbuilder create and uh, it, it will uh, return the uh, the file project.prg which will uh, will return the the path of the project so uh, so if you want to build your packages you create the shroot you go inside the uh, repository no the directory sorry of uh, your packages and um, you run the uh, pbuilder build command to build your packages you can point it to the output directory uh, created before and um, in the output directory you will have the the point the the dot deb uh, files uh, of your packages. So for Linux, you will have uh, Linux Azure, Linux Image, and Linux libc dev packages. Um, when you use pbuilder build command, you can use cross option, and uh, this option will enable cross building. Um, so it will uh, increase the speed of the build process. This now, uh, now the now your packages has been built. Um, you it. Uh, it has been uh, automatically uh, added to the repository of uh, the project. So you just need to add it to the list of the package. So for example, you can just uh, add a Linux image to the list of your package. But uh, in a project uh, that you do not, uh, in a project that where you do not run uh, Elbe Builder, so uh, it's in a empty project, uh, 
you can just add the description in um, in the XML file and uh, Elber will know that uh, he, he will have to build it. So in the pbuilder node you just have to add um, the URL of um, of your source of your packages. But um, uh, like that, uh, for now, Elbe uh, do not. Uh, there is no way to build to cross build the package um, in the actual Elbe version. Um, there are parts patches in the, on the mailing list to uh, enable uh, cross compilation uh, and the um, and the XML file. So now you know how to build your own package, to debianize build your own package and uh, to add it to your uh, description of your project. When you create a new project, uh, you, may you may not want to build uh, the package a second time. So uh, uh, for that, uh, I just uh, give you a tip to avoid uh, to rebuild your packages. And so uh, you have the output directory fill, filled with the uh, deb packages. So you just have to uh, add, uh, add it with the help project repo upload command. So uh, just uh, the example is like that. So you create an empty project, you configure it with the description uh, XML file. Then you go on the directory where uh, the packages uh, are, and uh, you just uh, uh, add it to your uh, actual project, to the actual to the new project, and. Uh, you will build your project with uh, two command built on wait busy. So Elbe, as I um, said uh, at the beginning of this talk, Elbe can uh, generate a SDK uh, which provides cross -comp compiler and liberate to, to build uh, whatever application you want. So to to do it, you just have to add the build SDK option uh, on the sub Elbe submit command, or uh, you have also uh, uh, a build SDK in uh, the Elbe control command. Um, so you will have, for example, for uh, Arm Ubuntu, you will have the script uh, that uh, the Yocto-like script uh, that will generate the uh, the tool chain, um, and you can add, uh, for example, if you want to add uh, QMake to the uh, host part of the toolchain, uh, you can add it with the host uh, package list uh, node. So uh, this, for example, this will add, will add uh, QMake, uh, the binary of QMake and uh, its uh, dev tools uh, to the to the host uh, part of the toolchain. Um, so I think that's all. Yes, it's time for conclusion. Um, so we can see that Elbow uh, is really an interesting tool. It's uh, it's really friendly because it's only one uh, XML file that uh, describe uh, 
all the distribution uh, on all the image generation and, uh, and the file system, etc. So it's uh, all in one th XML file. It's uh, easily customizable, even if um, the Debianize part uh, can be quite hard and painful, but uh, it's for, for your first packages after several times you Debian, it's, uh, you get used to it. So, Elbow is good for for this for have a distribution like Debian with uh, and uh, and access all the important secure patch that uh, Debian purpose. So here is the references. Uh, for learn about Elbe and uh, other presentation like uh, this one. So now, if you have uh, any question, suggestion, and comments, uh, is the time.